What is up guys, Joel Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today Apple has seeded the iOS 10.1, finally the uh, public release is now available so we can go ahead on general software update and search for it and get it into our devices. As you can see it says iOS 10.1 from Apple INC and is one gigabit 44 for this particular device. This update includes portrait camera for iPhone 7 Plus in beta stage, transit directions for Japan and stability improvements and bug fixes. If you want to go ahead uh, to see all these improvements and bug fixes, you can click learn more and you're going to see the detailed list. And they actually addressed a couple of bugs on the uh, photo app and the camera. The most iconic one being the fact that when you turned on the iCloud photo library, for some users the photos app simply quit. Now they fixed that and also they fixed some, uh, some issues with the camera flash. Also they added some new uh, maps, some new locations and bus stops for the uh, Japan and the messages application got a couple of updates as well. Well, the Apple Watch handling and other improvements are here. Those are general improvements, not only for iPhone 7. So, Bluetooth connectivity with third party accessories like uh, headphones or like, I don't know, uh, portable speakers and so on. Improved airplay, mirroring, fixes the issues when playing from iTunes purchases and so on. You can go ahead and uh, read the entire thing, but this is not what interests us about this thing. We're more focused about the jailbreaking. And I'm going to, to tell you, I'm going to be honest on you, this doesn't really look good. Why? Well, this, uh, this knife is kind of uh, two-sided. Well, let me show you. If you go ahead right here on the apple.com, you're going to see that they have the about the security content of iOS 10.1. This document describes the security content of iOS 10.1. And if you scroll ahead right here, you're going to see that they kind of patched a lot of uh, bugs, a lot of vulnerabilities that could have been exploited into a jailbreak. Well, this doesn't mean a jailbreak will not be up. Of course it will, but those bugs could have helped. And we have some uh, CF network proxies, but this is not extremely important. But we have the core graphics, and this one uh, was actually a um, vulnerability on the iMage displaying features that uh, actually allowed a uh, maliciously crafted GPAG file to run arbitrary code execution. This could have been used for a jailbreak. Also, we have a couple of bugs on face FaceTime. So when you um, when you got a FaceTime call, for example, if a uh, an attacker with privileged network position uh, wanted, he could have sniffed into your call. And even though you terminated the call, the audio would have still uh, been up and recording. Pretty nice, isn't it? Well, they fixed that as well. The phone parser, again, parsing a malicious, maliciously crafted phone may disclosure sensitive user information. I'm kind of getting a, a little bit afraid of, about all, all this iOS stuff. Well, kernel, this was one of the important uh, bugs that were patched in iOS 10.1. So an application may be able to disclose kernel memory. This is particularly important for jailbreakers because they need to patch parts of the kernel during the jailbreak feature. And also a couple of things, including the uh, live XPC, which actually says that an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with root privileges. This is extremely important if you want to jailbreak and actually it's now fixed. So there are a lot of bugs right here. As you can see, uh, there, there are a lot of them. And uh, the problem with all these bugs is that they could have been used for a jailbreak. So what is up? Well, now that, uh, that you ask, you can go ahead back to the... Um, to the iOS 10.0.2. If you are on 10.0.2, do not update. This is extremely important. If you want a jailbreak, stay on 10.0.2. Do not update to 10.1 until Pangu releases a jailbreak for that because all these bugs that you can see right here were patched in 10.1 and chances are that Pangu are going to use them and therefore create a 10.0.2 jailbreak. So just to be safe, until you hear something from Pangu, do not update to 10.1 just to be safe. Also, speaking speaking about Pango, now that iOS 10.1 was released, uh, they can finally focus on releasing a public jailbreak because this is what they've been waiting. This is the final piece of the puzzle. 
iOS 10.1 is no longer in beta, so changes are less likely to happen from, from now on, and they can drop their jailbreak anytime soon. So let's, let's just stay on the web page frequently and see what happens. They might update it at any point. You probably remember that the iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak simply got out of um, out of the blue, the page simply got updated, no act actual notification until they say that on uh, Twitter. So just keep on the web page, also on the channel to stay updated. You can subscribe on our channel to stay updated on wherever you want. We also have a playlist for jailbreaking that you can go ahead and search right here. It's called iOS hashtag jailbreak updates that you can see it only contains the jailbreak thing. So if you don't like any other part on the channel and you're only interested in jailbreaking, save this playlist by clicking the plus and you will stay updated. But what about Taiji? Although we know that they are still interested in uh, jailbreaking, we didn't he hear anything about their jailbreak intentions lately and probably they will not be dropping anything for iOS 10.1. But Pangu might be doing that, so as I said, do not forget, don't update to 10.1 for the moment if you're interested in jailbreak. If you're not interested in jailbreak and particularly if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and you are uh, not interested in jailbreaking, then I do recommend you to update because it brings you kind of cool features to your device. But for those who are on, um, on a device that is not iPhone 7, well, less than that, they can still stay on iOS 10.0.2 or 9.3.5 if you're still on there. So do not update for the moment. Of course, if you really want to update, I've shown you, you simply need to click download and install and your phone will restart normally as on update. But I do not recommend updating because this situation can change, uh, can shift positions at any time and Pango can release something for older versions. There is, there is no convention that says that Pango should release something for 10.1. They can release for 10.0.2. So you just have to be prepared. I'm gonna keep you updated on, if, on anything that happens on the jailbreak scene and you just need to stay updated by subscribing. It's free and it will always be. So this is it guys. I really hope you got the idea about 10.1 and what it is. So keep that in mind, a lot of bugs, a lot of vulnerabilities that could have been used in a jailbreak were patched, so you better stay out of it for the moment. This is it guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated on anything that changes. Hit the like button on this video to tell the world. Until the next time, peace out.